expedite the process, please, and go ahead and grab any open seats. Head to the back of the aircraft. Still a lot of open seats back there, please. Like I said, I'd like to take it up here and welcome more continuation of flight 4366, service to uh, Phoenix next. We'll be underway here shortly once airborne today. We have a uh, one hour, 21 minute flight plan to Phoenix where the latest air weather is scattered crowds to visibility. Turn the temperature in there. 89 degrees. Please uh, take a moment, listen to your flight attendants support and safety break, and then enjoy their fabulous service. Welcome aboard. That's the idea. Once again, welcome on board. Folks, if you're seated in that overwing window exit, please take a look at the safety information card. If you have a condition that would prevent you from performing the functions listed, if you feel you may suffer bodily harm, or you just don't want to sit there, please notify a flight attendant at this time for receding. Again, flight time to Phoenix is one hour and 21 minutes, and we're going on to Austin. Welcome on board. Oh my goodness, going on. Those of you in the aisle, just go ahead and turn around and head toward the back, please, so we can close the door. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome you on board. If we can have your attention for just a moment, we'd like to point out the safety features of our Boeing 737 700 aircraft. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the flat end into the buckle to release lift up on the buckle. Make sure you wear your seatbelt tight and across your hips and weird any time you are seated. There are six emergency exits, two forward exit doors, two over wing window exits, and two exit doors in the back. Signs overhead and lights on the floor lead to exits. A safety information card is located in the seat back pocket in front of you. In the event of a water evacuation, use the life vest under your seat and remove it only if told to do so. Pull the red strap to open the container to remove the pouch. Place the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, buckle it in front and pull to tighten. Once outside, pull down on the red tab to inflate the life vest. To manually inflate, blow into the tube at your shoulder. We are coming by to check to see that your seat belt is fastened, your seat back and tray tables are in the full upright and long position, and your carrying items are completely underneath the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin, leaving the area around your feet clear. Smoking, including electronic cigarettes, is not permitted aboard this flight. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying any smoke detector in an aircraft laboratory. Federal aviation regulations require customer compliance with light and passenger information signs, posted placards, and crew member instructions, including seatbelts and smoking. Notified by a crew member. If you are traveling.
especially with children or anyone needing special assistance, put on your mask first. Thank you for your attention. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy your one hour and 20 minute flight to Phoenix. Good afternoon and welcome aboard Southwest Airlines. We got some news to tell. That wasn't the evil lady who was ringing your bell. Well, we've been cleared for departure, baby. Cleared for departure, and this bird is gonna fly. Thank you, thank you very much. Double check those seatbelts when we're cleared for departure.
southbound. Feel free to put on your portable electronic devices if you haven't already done so. We do ask that you remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the passenger seatbelt sign. When he does, there's two laboratories on board, one at the front and one at the back of the aircraft. If the one at the front is occupied, we ask that you do not stand anywhere in the forward cabin. You must go to the back of the cabin to that laboratory or wait at your seat. Thank you.